Today we are rebuilding the Chicago Bulls in NBA 2K21 My League. The Chicago Bulls made a big trade at the trade deadline to bring in Nikola Vucevic, and it didn't really go to plan. The Bulls still didn't make the playoffs, and well, that it's just not looking good for the Bulls. Let's just say that. So today we are going to rebuild them, get them back on track, and try and get the Chicago Bulls an NBA championship. If you haven't, be sure to subscribe, like the video, all that stuff. Links to everything's down in the description below. So let's get into today's Bulls rebuild. So, for the Chicago Bulls, I am going to be holding on to Zach Levine, Nikola Vucevic, uh, Thaddeus Young for this first season. I'm also going to hold on to Kobe White uh, and Patrick Williams, try and develop those guys, basically. Everybody else on this team is probably going to get going. However, Larry Markkinen, we might sign and trade next offseason, depending on what gets offered up. Because I'm very happy with Thaddeus Young to be starting at the power forward position. Which means we kind of don't need Larry Markkinen. So if we traded, say, Larry Markkinen with Al Farouk Aminu, maybe we could get ourselves, what? What do we need? A better starting point guard? Because at the moment we got Kobe White. And I don't necessarily want to start Kobe White right now. I will bring him off the bench, maybe. What if we chuck in Tomas Sadorowski instead? Could we maybe get bring in a point guard? What about Mike Conley? He could potentially come in and play point for the Bulls. Or we could try and bring Derek Rose onto the Bulls. We just traded for De uh, Derek Rose back on the Chicago Bulls. We just brought Derek Rose back to the Chicago Bulls for Larry Markkinen in a second. I don't know if that was an overpay or not, but... Uh, Derek Rose is now on the Bulls. But Pat Will is probably going to be our... You know what? Yeah, that's fine. We don't need Tomas Sadorowski now because Kobe White's coming off of our bench. So, Sadorowski, could you get us maybe someone we could use off the bench? I'll take Robert Covington. We'll run a starting five of Derek Rose, Levine, Covington, uh, Thaddeus Young, and Nikola Vucevic. Uh, we'll then have Daniel Tice, Kobe White, Pat Will, uh, Afro Gamunu coming off of our bench. The Bulls are projected to be the ooh, 15th seed. So let's see what, ha what happens for this first season. And uh, yeah, let's see what's up. All-Stars here. We have ourselves Nikola Vucevic as an all-star and Zach Levine as an all-star as well. So we got Zach Levine to his first all-star game. LeBron wins MVP like he always does uh, here. He always wins MVP. We actually went 45 and 37, which for the first season in the Eastern Conference, we made the playoffs. I can say that with confidence that we definitely made the playoffs. Shea Gill just averaged 35 and 6. Frank Vogel, coach of the year. Let's go. Uh, do we get any All-NBA teams? Probably not. Yeah, no. And yeah, like I said, with 45 wins, we make the 8th seed. Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay, I see you. I see you. We finish as an 8th seed, which... Okay, sure. We'll stick to that rotation. Uh, let's have a look at these uh, stats, shall we? Zach dropped 32, 4, and 4.6 on a stealer game as well. On 51% shooting from the field and 39% from three. Jeez. Okay, Zach Levine. I see you, big boy. Derek Rose drops 22.2, uh, 6.6, .6 and 1.8 a game. And then Vucevic drops about 18, 11, and 3.5. Decent enough there, man. Decent enough. Horizon Harps, thanks so much for the follow, brother. Appreciate you. Big up, my guy. Big up. Uh, but yeah, those are the stats if you guys are wondering. Uh, offensively, we'll have a look probably, what, just outside the 10? We were 17th best offense. Surely that means our defense was good. Okay, our defense was quite good. We are in the top 10, but our differential was, what, 14th. Shit. All right. Nice. Okay, I don't think we're going to beat the Raptors here because... I mean, our team's not bad, but I don't think we're beating the Raptors. We might take a game, but I don't think we're beating the Raptors. We did take a game like I predicted. That's cool. And uh, we're probably going to lose us in five. Ooh. By the way, we forced a game six. And we got eliminated in six games. Lovely. We lost in the first round to the Toronto Raptors. The Lakers are the champs. LeBron wins MVP, averaging 35, 9, and 13.6. Shooting 46% from three. What the hell? Anyway, second season now. Lottery. I don't think we have a lottery pick. No, we were just in the playoffs. Of course, we don't have a lottery pick, Cameron, you freaking melon. Uh, we have the 18th overall pick. Okay, Billy Donovan's not a bad head coach, so we'll actually hold on to Billy Donovan. Uh, so for this offseason, I'm probably going to trade away Vooch. Uh, we're going to re-sign Thaddeus Young, Derek Rose. We're just going to trade away Robert Covington because I would like to bring in a better starting small forward. Bring Pat Will off the bench for another season. This 18th overall pick plus Nikola Vucevic, what could you get us? Could you get us maybe a better starting center? That's not bad, see? That's not bad. It's not bad, but it's definitely not the best. It's not bad. Ooh. 
Clint Capella is cheaper, mate, mate. Clint Capella is cheaper. That saves us a lot of cap. Which means we could potentially sign Kawhi in free agency. Clint Capella is the trade. Sorry, boys. It was very, very fucking close, man. And then if we get rid of Covington for cap reasons with our Farouk Aminu, maybe. Or we could just get rid of Covington for two. You could get two first round picks back from them. Okay. Uh, then Al Farouk Aminu, could we free up some cap for a first and a second from Phoenix? Uh, Kevin Herter, fine, I'm sure we can hold on to him for a little bit. Uh, so Kawhi, we do have enough cap space so we don't have to get rid of Kevin Herter. So can does Kawhi want to come to the Bulls? Alright, we just got ourselves Kawhi Leonard, boys. Yeah, very much so. Very much worth it for Kawhi Leonard, man. Very much worth it. How much cap do we have? Ooh, can we re-sign uh, our boy Derek Rose? We had to Knight's right. Yeah, no, nah, we can't even bring back Derek Rose as much as I want to. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. We're just going to go over here. We're going to sign... Let's just sign James Mazenis to a bit of a contract and we can trade him alongside Kevin Herter. Can we maybe bring in a point guard? That's what we're looking for here, boys. We're looking for ourselves a point guard, but it's not coming up. So I'll take Derek Favors, even though he's not a point guard. And <laughs> we'll move him to the power forward and uh, we'll trade him for a point guard, eh? Or not. That also works. We'll take Aaron Gordon. And then Aaron Gordon, we'll move to the small forward and uh, trade again. If we trade this Trailblazers pick, because I forgot we had a lot of first round picks. Is there anybody making like a lot of money that we could trade for a point guard? Fuck it. We'll take Harrison Barnes. Then Harrison Barnes with, say, two first-round picks. Point guard time? Point guard time? Point guard time? No. We need ourselves a point guard that we can actually afford. If we can get Derek Rose on that cheap on a cheap deal, man. He keeps declining the offer. But his interest does come up every single time. Ah, oh, there we go. I was about to say, it's about time someone offered him a proper contract. Yeah. And Derek Rose is going to go to the Miami Heat, I'm assuming. Yeah, he's going to go to the Miami Heat. Yep, sadly. Actually, to be fair, you guys did want me to get Fox before. I don't know if we have enough cap space to do it, though. We might have to sign a few people and uh, trade them away. So we'll sign Reggie Bullock, Michael Carter-Williams, players that we can uh, trade for stuff. Shay or Fox? I think Fox is going to be the only one that's fair, man. So Jeff Green, Michael Carter-Williams, someone for more making a little bit more money. Like Dante DiVincenzo is making about 4 mil. And then if we go Reggie Bullock with Dante DiVincenzo, could we get someone making 11 mil, such as Frank Jackson? I mean, yeah, I'll take that. Plus, we also get a really good first round pick there. Okay, now if we go to the Kings, go to get De'Aaron Fox. So I'll give you Harrison Barnes and Frank Jackson. I'll give you this Thunder first. That's two and a half stars. We now have De'Aaron Fox as our starting point guard. So our starting five is Kawhi, Levine, Fox, Capella, and Thaddeus Young. We then have Kobe White, Patrick Williams off the bench. We can make something happen here. So Fox, yeah, everybody's got green arrows. We're good. Uh, we're going to go perimeter defense to Levine. Uh, we're going to go big man defense. Where is it? Big man defense to Thaddeus Young. And then we'll go untapped potential to Kobe White. Although, we don't really need Shea, to be fair. Is Shea on a cheap deal yet, still? Yes, he is. Do I try and get ourselves Shea for our bench, mate? For our bench. We've got enough picks to do something here. We just need to trade these guys for some cap. So, if we can find a couple of players that are making a little bit of money that can uh, level it out for us, we should be A-OK. -okay. Like, give us, say, a nice player that's got a little bit of value now. That's what we're looking for. Ooh, I saw Jakob Pertl and Drew Eubanks. Those guys have a little bit of trade value, so we should be able to go like this. Go to the Thunder. Cap-wise, we could give up Jakob Pertl. No, we have to give up Drew Eubanks or something. Yeah, give me Gabriel Deck, and I'll give you four first-round picks. You know what we do next? We go over to power rankings. Who, who's projected to be one of the worst teams? Uh, Houston and Cleveland. So whoever has Houston's pick, uh, I think it's actually Houston. We're going to trade for Houston's first round pick this year. Or we could take Detroit's first round pick. That could also work. I'll give you four first round picks for this for one first round pick. And then if we go over to Shea, I'll give you the Drury Jakob Pertl. I'll give you this pick. I'll give you this pick. I'll give you this pick, I'll give you this pick, and this pick. 
We're going to need someone more valuable than Jacob Pertle, boys. Like Tyrese Halliburton. All right, like Tyrese Halliburton. That could work for us. And then give up Tyrese. That pick. That pick. Come on. We're out of first round picks, boys. We don't have any first round picks. We're out of firsts. We need more firsts. We need more firsts. We need to sign more players to get more firsts, though. So, anybody want a minimum contract? Come on down. Come get yourself a minimum contract. Minimum contract's coming out now. Yeah, Corey Joseph will take a minimum. Abdul Nadia will take a minimum. Rondé Hollis, we've already out of players. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, small forward. Small forward. Shooting guard. Power forward. Small forward. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay. By Lisa and Bradley, could you get us some firsts, mate? Yes, you can. Maxi Kleber. I'll take Maxi Kleber and a first. Nadia and Corey Joseph. You can get us a first and Sterling Brown. I'll take it. And then if we go Maxi Kleber with Sterling Brown, that can get us Kyle Kuzma. I'll take Kyle Kuzma. There's worse players out there than Kuz. Okay, Shay. I'll give you Tyrese Halliburton. That first round pick. And that first round pick. And that first round... Wait, what? Too much cap. Fine, I'll give you JaVal McGee, and you can give me Gabriel Deck. We've done it, boys. We did it. We got ourselves Shea Gilgis Alexander. Now we have De'Aaron Fox off of our bench. Or what we could even do, bang, move Shea to the two and have Zach Levine off of our bench. Or move Zach to the three and have Thaddeus Young off of our bench. I think that's what what we're gonna have to do. Uh, we trade Drew, Drew Eubank, Eubanks with Kyle Kuzma. Could we bring in Dennis Schroeder and Miles Bridges? Isn't bad. Yeah, you know what? That's actually not too bad. I'll take that. I will take that, man. We need a center off the bench, which actually could potentially be Thaddeus Young at the five, and then have. I'm trying to sort out this rotation, guys. Sorry, I'm kind of trying to concentrate, sort out this rotation properly. Yeah, it could be something a bit like that. Yeah, that could, works for me. That works for me, for sure. Uh, we'll then go scoring options as Kawhi, uh, Levine, and then Shea Gilgis. Do we have any four-star systems? We do with perimeter centric or seven seconds. I think I might go seven seconds as our system. Rotation for this season is a Fox, Shea Gilgis, Zach Levine, Kawhi Leonard, and Clint Capella starting five. We then have Miles Bridges, Thaddeus Young, Kobe White, Pat Will uh, off of our bench. And also Dennis Schroeder's there as well. We're going to go Leonard, Levine, Shea Gilgis as our scoring options. We've got a four-star, seven-second system. And the Chicago Bulls are the projected two seed this year. So let's simulate the second season, see what goes down. All-stars here. We have ourselves Zach Levine and Kawhi Leonard and Shea Gilgis. We got ourselves three all-stars. Let's go, boys. We got three All-Stars this year. Bronwyn's MVP, again, at 37 years old. Again, he shoots 43% from three-something. Goddamn. Uh, Kate Cunningham, Rookie of the Year. And we don't get any awards. Love that. Do we get any Chicago Bulls All-NBA teams? That would be cool if we do, but we don't. Nice. We finish as a three-seed in the Eastern Conference. Okay, three-seed this year. Player stats, Levine dropped 25, 3, and 5. Leonard dropped 24.1, 5.4, and 5.4. Shea, 23, 4, and 8. Fox, 16, 2, and 8. And then Bridges, 11, 4, and 1. Yep, looks good to me. Offensively, the Bulls were the third best. Defensively, we sixth best, and our differential was the third best in the NBA. So we got the Sixers in the first round to have added Hamalu Diallo at the 3. Okay, I don't know if we have these ability to defend them because 2k does quite like itself some philadelphia but we've currently gone up 2-0 they've brought a game back we're up 3-0 yes now yes now we have one in five going to the second round of the nba playoffs so we got miami in the second round they're starting pressures at chua and oladipo okay cool game one is an l game two is a w game three is an l Game four is a W. Game five is a W. Boys, 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 boys. If we manage, it's game seven in the second round. Game seven in the second round, and I don't think we're going to be able to come back here. We lose to the Miami Heat in the second round of the playoffs. It's lucky we've got one more season. Pelicans we're, uh, win the championship, Zion. Finals MVP. <sighs> Uh, we definitely don't have any picks because we traded it all away. 
The Rockets still managed to have the first overall pick. Um, we definitely don't have any picks. Like, let's just say that. We definitely don't have any first round picks, so we're going to get rid of that. Uh, Kobe, Pat can both come back. Uh, Miles Bridges and Shea Gilgis, we have to re-sign, so we definitely don't have any... We for sure don't have any cap flexibility this year. We also have to re-sign Zach Levine as well. Uh, so I think all these guards is not good. I don't think they worked out too well for us. I might also trade um I might trade Fox and run Shea at the point. Shea could be our starting point guard and trade away De'Aaron Fox for a power forward, please. Ooh, Jonathan Isaac's not bad. Jonathan Isaac is not bad. We might also get rid of Thaddeus Young. And by get rid of, I mean trade away. So Fox and Thaddeus Young. Is there a power forward that we could potentially trade for? What do you reckon? Run Cat at the four? We are giving up quite a lot for Kyle Anthony Towns. You know what? Stuff it. We're going to run Kyle Anthony Towns as our power forward, man. We're running Cat as our power forward. And that's our rotation right there. I am actually going to move Zach Levine back to the two. And our bench is looking like a Kobe White. Patrick Williams, Miles Bridges. We can get rid of Jalen McDaniels. Jalen McDaniels, though. I might have to get Josh Giddy, Giddy just because he's from Australia. It's Josh Giddy, man. Yeah, fuck it. I have to get Josh Giddy. It's my boy, Josh Giddy. It's my man. Even though we've got power, small forwards for days. <laughs> he can be. He can play the shooting guard as well. We're good. Yeah, we're good. Uh, Kawhi. Where is going down, sadly. Shea's gone up three overalls. Cat's gone up three. Everybody's got green arrows. It's beautiful. It's lovely to see. Three training camps. Perimeter defense goes to Zach Levine. We're also going to go uh, perimeter defense to Shea Gilgis. And we'll go untapped potential to Patrick Williams. Perfect. Because why not, should we say. Okay, so rotation is going to be a Shea, Levine, Leonard, Towns, and Capella starting five. We will then have Kobe White, Miles Bridges, Patrick Williams, and Josh Giddy off of our bench. I'm fine with that, bro. I am so fine with that. Uh, scoring option is going to be Leonard, Levine, and Shea Gilgis, or Cat. I might go Cat. Yeah, Cat might work for us. We'll still run a seven-second system, and the Bulls are projected to be one this year. Let's go. Let's see what we can do for this final season. Hopefully, we can win the chip this year. All-star teams here. We end up with Carl Anthony Towns, Kawhi Leonard, Shea Gilgis, Alexander. No Zach Levine, sadly. Otherwise, we would have had four All-Stars, but we got three, which is decent. Jokic wins MVP. We went 65 and 17, so I think we would win Coach of the Year here. Unless, yeah, we do win Coach of the Year. Perfect. And do we get any All-NBA performers? Probably not, because our team has a lot of stars. Like I said, probably not. We finished as a one seed in the Eastern Conference this year. We Like this year, we took no chances, bro. We took zero chances. Uh, Kawhi dropped 23, Levine dropped 23, Cat dropped 23, Shea dropped 17, and Kobe dropped 13 a night. Beautiful. Team stats, offensively, we're the best team. Defensively, third best in differential. We will beat teams by an average of 16 points a night. Holy shit. And first round here against the Cleveland Cavaliers who have got Rudy Gobert as their starting center. We're here now. We got the Cleveland Cavaliers in the first round who have Rudy Gobert as their best player. Let's go. I'm confident enough that we are... Thank you. We won in six. Beautiful. We've now got the Nets in the second round to have a regressing Harden, but they've brought in Joe. We can't look... We, we can't beat this team. They have Joe Ingles. That's literally the only reason they're good is because they have Jingle and Joe. It's two apiece, by the way. We're up 3-2. Could we maybe win in six, please? No, of course it's got to go to a game seven. Of course it's got to freaking go to a game seven. Please tell us we're going to win game seven. Oh my God, we've absolutely killed him. We've killed him. We killed him. We killed him. We killed him. Thank God. We've now got the Knicks in the Eastern Conference Finals who still have Randall, still have Robinson. And Emmanuel quickly. Let's see what's up. Game one is a W. Game two is a L. About I was about to say, how did we lose a game? How did we even drop a game there? Now, oh, guess who it is, boys? Guess who it is? It's the Phoenix Suns who are currently in the NBA Finals. Who've actually still got the same team. They're just starting Jordan Bell instead of Jay Crowder. Fair enough, mate. Fair enough. But I think our team's better than the Phoenix Suns. So We're through the NBA Finals for the first time this video. First game is a W. Second game, W. Game three, we've taken L. 
Game four. It's a W. We are up 3-1 in the series, boys. Oh, we've absolutely killed him. We've literally killed him. We have killed him. We're up by almost 40. So, uh, the Bulls are the champs, and Carl uh, Anthony Towns wins finals MVP. How about it? How about that to the end of the video for this Chicago Bulls rebuild? God damn. God damn. Look at this shit. We killed it. And guys, that's going to do it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, click on one of these if you would like to see more. And that's really got to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.